Good afternoon. Okay. Shall we get down to business now? Uh, my name is Tumikadi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today it's Monday, brand new week, the 12th of July 2021 time. It's 18 minutes before 3 p.m. Okay, so we're going to start a new series today called Vision Control System. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to type in version control. So version control. Now, before I do this, um, I wanna show you the, the roadmap for this series. So I created a little notepad uh, document that listed the things I'm gonna be doing. Today, we're gonna be doing this. Overview of version control other people call it source control, AKA Git. So that's what we're gonna be doing, right? Next up, I'm gonna be doing, uh, I'm gonna do a video on services, um, such as GitHub and then, okay. Just know that this is the milestone. Now the numbering system, this is how I'm gonna move from one, two, three, four, five. Now these ones, I haven't sought them out. These are just the ideas on top of my head. They're ones that I'm gonna be doing. Okay. so. Uh, I want to do something before I come here. So let's go to Visual Studio. And so I was busy making some changes on this project. Like I've been saying with my previous video that this is .NET Framework. Now on this project is two uh, uh, projects, or should I say different frameworks, yes. MVC and Web API, right? So I was doing some changes um on these two documents now the changes i was making if i pull vision update now vision update it's it's part of vision control series i put it on the list vision updates folder i will talk about that one now i want to show what i was doing uh, it's like a series a mini series where i was utilizing sms project to send sms from the user's controller for the crew and then I also was targeting for the client. So I was attempting to do that. Well, I did that, um, you know, a few minutes ago. Uh, that's why there are a couple of, you know, unpushed commits also. We're going to talk about uh, commits. Um, so, but I try to continue to do one more thing. Okay. So I'm going to undo them. So let me just show you the changes. Also, I uh, get changes. It's also part of a video I'm gonna make, where is it? Git changes. Yes, git changes tab. We're gonna be doing it. We're gonna explore what, what's happening here. But I was trying to do something, a throw in error. Um, so this is my previous backend of SMS API, the one I'm trying to get rid of uh, completely, you know, to reuse SMS API project, the one has already been deployed. There's a video, please check the previous video where I showed how I set it up. So these are the changes that I attempted to make on this specific commit to continue to do this thing. Unfortunately, it did not go very well. Also, now notice that it says that the file has been modified, but I don't see any feasible or visible changes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna undo them. So me doing undo and then hitting yes, it's part of what you're gonna be doing, also covering at a later stage, undoing changes, there we go. Okay, and now I can now move to master branch we're going to be doing this it's called branches there we go uh we also want to do extensive video about that one so let me just switch uh, from web branch to master branch and then from there i'm gonna initiate another task that we're going to be doing which is push you know um let's give it a couple of seconds to reload and everything so now i'm excited about this new series i just want to cover this uh, because I do that every single time I do a new thing. And then we'll talk about zero, like zero, zero, what do they mean? And then having to take uh, the changes from a web branch, matching them into master branch. We also have merge, I believe, uh, where we have master branch. Uh, we don't have merges. Okay. Uh, we should say... Now it should be here. Merge. 
match changes. Okay, we also gonna cover that one. Okay, cool. Were they meshed? No, it's still loading. Okay, cool. So I'm excited about this new series. Uh, funny enough, I've been exploring Git or showing a little bit of version control. Let me call it version control. That's the terminology I'm gonna be using throughout this whole series. Okay, even after the series. Okay, that. I've been doing and showcasing version control. And then with that being said, I decided, you know, let me do extensive series on this topic that um, according to me, I feel like I have mastered, but please take note that it's according to me. I don't study uh, version control from Google. I did only once. I watched a few videos on YouTube and then that's it. From there, I've been doing this thing ever since I created a GitHub account, will do so. Uh, the time I explore remotes, but also I'm gonna be doing services like GitHub. I'll show you when I create my uh, GitHub profile account. So all of that. Now, let's push this guy. Are we ready to push? Yes, we are pushing. We are gonna cover push, what happens when you push, uh, what happens when you push and everything. I need to do this thing so that I know there are no changes so that I can start the work uh, with overview of vision control because the brand, uh, the browser is waiting for me, you know, to do a little bit of a study. There we go. So we're going to read what vision control is. Other people, like I said, they call it source control, AKA Git, And then we're going to take it from there. It's going to be a short video but very very imperative video okay so let's give this guy a couple of seconds to a minute or so so that they, there we go we're going to talk about the writing our objects compressing what it does behind the scenes these messages you know we're going to talk about um let me just do this action we're going to talk about get in visual studio um we also have it on the list Yes, get in Visual Studio, we're gonna cover this guy. And yeah. Okay, so let this guy go. In the meantime, it's gonna become success. Cool. We're done with Visual Studio. Now, what is a version control? And then what is um, source control? So, according to Wikipedia, in software engineering, version control is a class of systems responsible for managing changes to computer programs, documents, large websites, or other collection of information. Version control is a component of software configuration management. So this is according to Wikipedia. Now, according to uh, Docs for Azure DevOps, we're also gonna be covering Azure DevOps um, because we have it here on services in the next video. Azure DevOps, we're gonna be covering uh, also looking in, into GitHub. So they are saying, according to them, Microsoft, version control systems are software that help track changes making code over time. As a developer edits code, the version control system takes a snapshot of the files. It then saves that snapshot permanently so it can be recalled later if needed. We're gonna be doing this where in the context of this system called identical docs, I'm not teaching version control. I am not an expert of version control. I'm not being paid by these service providers, you know, like GitHub and other DevOps and then GitLab, uh, what is it, and the rest. But I'm doing so in the context of this system that I built called uh, identical docs. This is the only reason why I'm doing it because I'm gonna be showing everything in the context of this system, this entire system, right? How I got to master it and why I still continue to build system because I have a new one, it's on version control. Good. So, without version control, developers are tempted to keep multiple copies of code on their computer. Cool. Now, according to w 3 School, version control is a particular software category for managing code or project modification. These track um, of the changes in project are stored in special kinds of databases, facilitating developers and collaborators to turn back 
if any mistake is made. That's exactly what I just did. Because I, f I saw that whatever I was attempting to do a few minutes before I started recording wasn't going to work. It was going to become a mistake. And you do not push that all the way to the cloud. Now, you're going to hear me saying the following. Do not. Like, you're going to hear me aggressively saying this. Not because I'm an expert, but because I've learned. So I have a little bit, a little bit of an experience based on do not. Do not. You're going to hear me on each and every video, probably, that do not do this. Do not do this. Do not. Okay. Because I like this thing that was said by uh, Microsoft. Without version control, developers are tempted to keep multiple copies of code on their computers. We're going to be talking about uh, this. Okay, so this was the overview of uh, version, version control. I think I should also do source control. Source control. Let's see what internet have to say about source control. And I'll be done. Okay. Now, okay, you see? So version control wins over source control. Good. Understand source control again according to Azure DevOps. Source control is an essential tool for multi-developer projects. Our systems support two types of source control, which is Git, distributed, and Team Foundation version control, which is TFVC. TFVC is a centralized client server system in both Git and TFVC. You can check in files and organize files in folders, branches, repositories. We need to talk about repositories. Uh, yes, we need to bring topic of repositories. Yes. Cool. According to AWS, Amazon Web Services, what is a source control? Source control or version control, you see? We can use the uh, version control or source control interchangeably. Um, is the practice of tracking and managing changes to code. Source control management, which is SCM system, provides a running history. We also have history. I put it on the list. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Git history. There we go. Um, provides a running history of code development and help to resolve conflicts. There we go. I do have conflicts. Conflict. When merging, again, when I cover merging, uh, merging, uh, where is it? Yes, merge changes. When merging contributions from multiple sources. Okay, that's it. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna, um, or should I say, you should expect raw content, particularly on this series of version control. Now, I'm not only gonna be, I'm not gonna be doing what is fresh, what is pull, what is push. I'm not gonna be covering uh, this series of version control like that. What is commit message? I'm gonna tell you how to write what is and how to write commit message. Also, I'm gonna be creating a new project from ground up without the gate. And how do you now say, I want this project to be tracked by a version control system? Everything, I'm gonna be creating probably two separate projects, you know, um, and then showing you everything. I also have re remotes, where we're gonna be talking about remotes. There we go, uh, local versus remotes. I should do that. Local, locals versus remote. Uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of things. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep on adding this list as I keep on developing. But for now, stay tuned for the next video and please check out my previous video uh, since I started this uh, YouTube channel. You know, so they can understand because I'm gonna be showing a lot of things in the context of this system. For example, let me just do this. Let me open uh, my initial web application, or should I say website, 
uh, also expect after this series of vision control that I'm gonna be doing Xamarin series, you know, my mobile application, uh, how I built my mobile application using Xamarin as a framework. Also, please expect it because I'm gonna be covering, as you can see from the list, I'm gonna be covering um, video number five, Microsoft Collaborate. Okay, I'm gonna be showing the team of the SP.NET, particularly .NET Core team. I'm gonna be showing the team Xamarin. I know them, some of them I know, you know, because they helped me to build this product successfully. We're gonna be taking, taking a look at Maui, the, the new and the next evolution of Xamarin. So we're gonna be looking at that. Also, who uses these services? We're gonna be looking at large companies and then external services, the ones that I have used, such as Automapper, you know, and then because it's a very, it's a very powerful tool that's on uh, GitHub or Azure DevOps, and then why you should utilize those external services, uh, provide external services by uh, uh, service providers. So stay tuned for more. What I meant to say about this is that how did I do this? I can even show you. I can even show you that when I was working on this, it took me a while to do this. You don't put in a map and you put in the pins. You don't do that. You put in a map, you make sure it works. You test it, you create a commit. You go now to say, okay, what's the next requirement? The next requirement is to populate the map with the businesses from Web API, from either this project or this project. Also, there is some changes. We'll take a look at the history you know, making this thing a uh, success, you know? And then how do I put the pins and everything? There are, there are times where I'm gonna show you the links I've used, you know, and also how do I put in this search bar, you know, everything, all of those things. So stay tuned for that. I'm excited about this uh, because I'm gonna reinforcing what I've known, what I know so far on my next uh, system, the one I'm still busy building. With that being said, thank you very much. I hope you found this video informative while well, stationed for more because I promise you quality content, high quality content. The one that's raw, where I'm going to be showing you mistakes. If something happens, you know, uh, what to do, what not to do and everything. And then why I believe in why many people live are living programming and then why there's a market for people to work remotely, you know, now that we are in the pandemic. So stay tuned for that.